Well, for uh, those of you who know Rick, uh, you'll know why I told him I'm speaking first. <laughs> because otherwise, I'd be following, be like following Barack Obama after his red state, blue state speech. So thanks, Rick, for letting me go. And thank you, Bill Curtis. I mean, I don't have to say a word after that introduction. I mean, that, that was great. Thank you for your compliments about our firm. Thank you, John Kaplan and the PCC board members. Thanks to Secretary Clinton, Senator Durbin, Valerie, Cheryl, and Dadon for their, for their kind words. And thank you, Mr. President, uh, President Carter, uh, Rick and I are truly honored and, and humbled by your presence here tonight. We really are. The Carter Mondale administration was my first exposure to national and international advance work. Thanks to a recommendation from a guy named Senator Adlai Stevenson. Thank you, Adlai. <laughs> that experience of traveling the country and the world, organizing visits on behalf of the President and Vice President of the United States and presidential candidates provided the foundation behind the way we have approached our public affairs work from the very beginning. Being sensitive to big picture issues as well as the smallest details. Building coalition support for my candidate. Looking for ways to tell the candidate's story and watching for political minefields while working in high-pressure, fast-moving situations. That is what JT was, was founded on, asking, taking a political campaign-like approach to corporate public affairs work. The Carter-Mondale campaign of 1976 is where this partnership was born, where Rick and I became friends. Just a few years later, we talked about going into business together. Taking a line from Lee Iacocca, if you're going to partner with somebody, make sure he's smarter than you are. <laughs> there is no better communicator, writer, strategist, or friend in this town than my partner, Rick Jaskolka. Now, let's not get carried away. Because he does have some unique personality traits, which we all attribute to him being an only child. But most of the time, like any good marriage, we respect each other, care about each other, and work well together. I and countless others have gladly taken the Rick package and are grateful for it. But this award is much more than just Rick and me. It really belongs to the JT team, some of whom have been with us for over 20 years. Mary Patrick, our managing, yes, yes indeed. Our managing partner has been with us since the firm was four years old. She was very, very young then, very young. <laughs> Dan Regan. <laughs> Holly Bartecki. I could go on and this could go for another hour. These are just a few of the many who make JT what it is today. And our alumni who are here tonight too, our JT family have gone on to make some pretty wonderful things and many of them have brought us back to work with them in their new ventures. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> many of them are here tonight 
which makes this evening even more special. I do want to take a quick shout out to my family. My wife, Wendy, who's been fully supportive. <laughs> fully supportive whenever business takes me away from what otherwise would be family time. I, uh, but, and most important, for playing the leading role in raising our two beautiful daughters, Ada and Neve, who make me proud every day. <laughs> and they make it all worthwhile. But Wendy, the true sign of your love and support was just last December when I broke my hip on that cruise boat and you joined me in that basket and we were airlifted onto a U.S. helicopter by the Coast Guard in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in the middle of the night. That was one of the most interesting experiences <laughs> and interesting ride and I owe you big time for that one. And don't you think she's let me forget it, either. <laughs> I consider myself very lucky, because in addition to having a healthy and loving family, I enjoy what I do for a living. I look forward to, the, to the going to work every day, and that has a lot to do with the people that I work with in a place Rick and I have built and nurtured together for over three decades. In closing, I want to read a quote from Jim Collins, business, and, uh, business author and consultant. For no matter what we achieve, if we don't spend the vast majority of time with people we love and respect, we can't possibly have a great life. But if we spend the vast majority of our time with people we love and respect, people we really enjoy being on the bus with and who will never disappoint us, then we almost certainly will have a great life no matter where the bus goes. The people we interviewed from the good to great companies clearly loved what they did largely because they loved who they did it with. I'd like to believe Rick and I help to promote a culture of love and respect on the JT bus that has made the firm successful and sustainable throughout the years. And I intend to keep the foot on the pedal of that bus for many years to come. So make, let me make sure my messaging tonight is perfectly clear. This Lifetime Achievement Award is not a retirement award. <laughs> and if you have any doubts, I again direct you to my two college-age daughters <laughs> attending out-of-state schools <laughs> who I assume dream of a nice wedding one day compliments of good old mom and dad. <laughs> so I will keep the foot to the pedal of the JT bus with my partner for a while to come, and I hope to see you all along the way. Thank you. Now it's your turn. <laughs>